All right, this is Ethan Chow. If that's not how you pronounce your name, it is now. Uh, he says, how many trombones, Brandon model, have you gone through um, from your very first trombone to the king, uh, Bach, and Khan you have now? And then he goes on to see, uh, just ask my opinions on gear for different things, jazz, marching band, symphonic band, and so on. Um, so, okay. The first trombone I had was like a Bach something. I don't remember. Um, in school, like a, a school owned instrument. And then I bought my own for $201. The one is important because it was on eBay. And if I didn't bid 201 I wouldn't have gotten it. And it was some god awful silver. <laughs> I don't know. It was bad. The slide was actually, it wasn't the lightweight, lightweight silver. It was like silver. You like had muscles at the end of playing that thing. And it was, the brand was Maestro, which you've never heard of. And there's a reason. Um, but it did give me a pretty dark sound. And on that, I played on a one and a half G mouthpiece, which is a bass drum mouthpiece, which gave me the super dark tone. And then going up the higher register was just kind of, not a good thing. So then I switched to a 5G mouthpiece. Uh, okay, then for college, I got the Bach 42 that I play on now. That's, um, I believe, when I also got the mouthpiece. Um, so not it, it's not a long history, ancestry. It's just that one eBay trombone and now the Bach. And then I got the King 2B when I was playing lead trombone in a Latin jazz band in college, which you can't really do on a big Bach, but I was trying anyway. So um, that's not to say that you can't do it on a Bach, but that 42 is, is big and round. And then um, I was playing bass trombone, um, in my college swing jazz band and they lent me a Bach 50 and that was in that was the first bass trombone in my videos and then I left college because I graduated and I needed one and Con Silver uh, got me the what is it Con 62HI so that's it that's the end of it and those three are the ones I use um, I, he asked me, uh, do I plan on getting a custom horn? So, okay. I'm sponsored by Con Selmer now. Um, so the answer is no, but, <laughs> um, maybe, I don't know. I, if, if it makes a better sound, then sure. Um, and then he asks me opinions on, other equipment and like I said I'm sponsored by Con Selmer and the three instruments I, I use um, happen to be Con Selmer. they didn't have any influence in that uh, other companies will say hey why don't you play our instruments and you'll get them for free I happened to play these instruments and then they said hey you play our instruments <laughs> why don't we sponsor you it was like a very nice deal that just kind of happened at the same time. So I don't really feel comfortable um, expressing my opinion for other makes and models a little bit because they help me out so much and a little bit because I've never played them. So I can't really help with that. I know, so there are really great trombone manufacturers and like just saying them isn't going to change anything. So there's Wrath, there's Shires, there's East by Shires, there's uh, Edwards, it's a big one. Um, a lot of the symphony guys play Edwards, but at my school we had some people that played Bach, some people Shires, some people Edwards, some people uh, Courtois is a new one. So it that just should tell you, it doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't matter. Um, as long as you get a horn that is, I, I don't even know, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters personally um, because I've heard really great trombone players play really crappy instruments and make them sound amazing. So uh, the idea is to pick something that doesn't make it harder, but it's not going to make you better. 
Um, yeah, that's that's got to be the best advice I can I can give on that topic. And again, a little bit because they're helping me out so much and sponsoring me to play live for more people and uh, do more videos and stuff. Ooh. Uh, but also because these are the instruments I've I've played. And like I said, there was that eBay horn. Don't get that and stick with with a trusted instrument. So I have the King 2B, the Bach 42, and the Con 62HI. And again, the mouthpiece, I feel the same way about those. Uh, whatever works, if you like it. If it doesn't feel awkward, if it doesn't sound bad, don't worry about it. Um, and yeah. So that's that. Uh, he asks for marching band, symphonic band, jazz. In my experience, the smaller horns for like lead playing, bigger horns for orchestral playing, um, and marching band, uh, probably the smaller horn, so it's more pointed. Um, that's about it. So there you have it. Uh, keep the questions coming, and I'll keep posting.